Hello, this is Ashia from Crafting with Ashia and welcome to this video. Thank you for joining me today. This is the card I have to share with you. It's this cute little beaver card. He's here sitting on a bunch of leaves um, playing with his sticks. I just think it's so cute. So let me show you how I made this. I've got here a piece of scrap basic white cardstock and we're going to stamp a memento tuxedo black and this is the stamp set we're going to use fluffiest friends i'm going to be using this lovely little beaver and we're also going to use this one called circle sayings for our sentiment so let's get stamping just straighten up my grid paper a little bit okay so memento tuxedo black and as i said we need to use this because we're going to color in using the um, stamp and blend alcohol markers and you always need to use the right ink for the right marker. So we're just going to stamp this down in the corner here. Lovely. And then we're just going to stamp our little sentiment as well while we're about it. So just in a spare piece of cardstock, I'm just going to stamp the sentiment that says happy birthday. Make sure to stamp it the right way up. It's always useful. And there we go. Happy birthday. So we can move all of that aside and we can get ready to start our colouring. And the colours we're going to use here are some of the tonal colours which are SU200, um, SU100 and SU600. And then we're going to also be using some Cajun crays and some copper clay. So let's start colouring. Okay. So I'm going to go in with my darker colour first here and I tend to use quite a bit here of the copper clay and I'm just going to go in with my darkest colour and I'm just tracing out all the crease lines and the edge of my little beaver here where I think some shadows might fall and underneath he's a little playing with these sticks and all over and then I'm going to go in with a lighter colour and I'm going to go in and blend that out so you can see here I'm just going with my lighter colour and covering all of that area in and also inside where he's playing with his sticks just being a little bit careful here not that it matters if you did get any colour on the sticks because they're going to be brown as well anyway and then we're coming in his cute little face in his sweet and then I'm going to go back in with the dark colour again just to really emphasise those shadows um, and those crease lines and then I tend to go just sometimes leave things to dry for a little while before I go back um, and then that means that things are less likely to blend if you're wanting to add fine detail so now I'll go back for his nose and here I'm just using some of the lighter colours here um, of the tonal colours and then I'm just going to go back here and add some little details to his body. I'm just sort of giving a flicking motion here. Um, it doesn't show up so well on the camera. And I should add to give the illusion of some fur. And then I'm going to colour in these little sticks. And I'm going to colour in them darker than I am his body. And you'll see that in the still shots on my blog. And again I'm going in with my darker colour. Now I'm going to go in again with his tail here and just add in some of the stri um, stripes to sort of show his tail. And now I've cut everything out using the matching dies. So I've got here the Fluffiest Friends dies, which I used to cut that little beaver out, and some leaves for some foliage. And I cut these out using some old olive cardstock. And then I've got here the Sardis Shapes um, dies. And I use that to cut out my banner and the squares that he's going to sit in so let's do that quickly so i've got here a piece of the gorgeous gingham um, designer series paper and this measures 14.35 centimeters by 10 and i put this down on my card base my card base is thick basic white cardstock and that's a standard a6 card base so that's an a4 sheet cut in half and then folded in half so i'm just going to center that and then i've got a piece here of um, the Peck and Pie designer series paper and I'm going to put a bit of glue on the back here and this is what's cut out using the stylus shaped dies the largest of the square dies 
and I'm going to put that down at the top sort of centering it on three sides there we go and then I have a piece of white and this is cut with the next die in and again we're just going to put that in the center so it's all nicely layered up and center that nicely okay really really simple so now we have our little beaver here so we're going to put some dimensionals on the back of our beaver so he can be popped up and as you know I'm generous with my dimensionals so I'm going to use quite a few here I have to start a new sheet because that one was over I'm going to also use some baby ones here like for his tail there we are and we must have go in later and put a few more dimensionals in but for now I've left a few gaps here and that's because I want to tuck all that foliage that I showed you um, underneath so I'm just trying to decide where I want a little fella placed so let's bring in all of these lovely little leaves and these are all cut which is one pass of the dies you get a lot of different foliage and now I'm just trying to decide where I want to put my leaves down the tombow is obviously not wanting to cooperate today sometimes it just don't know about you but sometimes you just have days like that where clearly doesn't want to cooperate so you just have to give it a bit of a shake into submission so there we go gonna put a little bit underneath the tail there I'm gonna build up for want of a better word I'm gonna build up a little nest for him to be sitting on a little nest of leaves so lots of greenery lots of leaves and as I said these were cut out all using the old olive cardstock and I'm just tucking them in underneath him and that's why I didn't put dimensionals to the end of his body so we could tuck in like that now if you are enjoying this video I'd be grateful if you could give it a thumbs up so YouTube know it really or do consider subscribing if you want it really does help my videos become more visible on YouTube not just me but for any content creator it always helps if you like their videos the more people like a video the more YouTube will recommend that video to someone else and it really does help especially small channels like my own to try and grow and help more people see my videos so um, I'd be really really grateful if you could do that okay so you can see I'm still tucking my little greenery around getting glue all over me as usual because I know you can use tweezers and I know you can use your sticky pickup tool and all sorts of stuff but um, it doesn't seem to really matter with me I tend to go back to my fingers and even if I use those I still seem to get glue on my fingers it's just one of those things and I hate having glue on my fingers but I don't seem to be able to avoid it very well so it's a case of occupational hazard and you can see here I'm just layering off some of my leaves trying to decide if that's enough or if I want a little bit more um, it's really up to you how much greenery you want or you don't want but I think it really helps to have something for him to sit on it helps to ground him so he doesn't look like he's just floating around in midair but he wouldn't want a little beaver to be floating around in midair would we now definitely not okay so I think we're nearly going to be finished with this little one here and tuck that in oh, I'm going to try and use all of them up sometimes I do that if you've got only a few little pieces left um, I try and use them up rather than having them go back into the scrap pile and I think that's exactly what I'm going to do here don't know about you sometimes if you ever like that you sort of think I really don't want to keep this extra piece of scrap so I'll just use it rather than lose it as they say okay so there we go all done so now we're ready to stick our sentiment down so I did cut this out both of these pieces out using the stylus shaped dies the cardstock is old olive and it's one of the designer series paper old olive and I'm just going to stick one to the other using some seal as you can see here and it just helps to mass and layer and just lift the sentiment a little bit by doing that and then 
I'm going to actually pop the sentiment up using dimensionals and I'm going to be using the edges of my dimensional which is always a good thing to do it helps to use them up because the edges are good dimension it's exactly the same as your normal dimensional it's just at the edge so don't waste don't waste those things and they're brilliant for sentiments like this because you can just put a few pieces down instead of having to put a ton of little dimensionals down and then taking off all those blooming backings which drives me mad okay so let's take the backings off and then we can stick these down there we go lovely brilliant all done and now we're just going to do some finishing touches and now here i've got these adhe adhesive speckled dots and i've also got the blooming pearls the adhesive speckled dots actually did retire at the end of last year but i had when i made this video i still had some some left so i wanted to use it but then i decided to rather use the blooming pearls and you can see here i'm just taking a few and dotting them here and there um around my card so no rhyme or reason just where i think it sort of looks nice and there we'll see so if you want any more information about this project the supply list the measurements etc it's all on the blog post on my website and you'll also find the links to my social um all my social media links there as well so do hop on and check those out so thank you again and until next time enjoy being creative bye